Okay, so we're going to take this sphere and make it into a, so bubbles sort of flowing. So you have this thing under simulate, you have this thing called emitter. And the way that emitter works is that if you hit play, okay, then it's going to shoot these little dots out randomly in space. Okay, and these are going to come out of this emitter um, based on all of these different principles. Okay, so down in the attributes manager, you have the birth rate editor. That's um, the, what we see in the editor is what we see those little dots, right? And then the renderer is what, how it would render out. So like sometimes if you wanna just preview things, you could have a lower one in the editor and a higher one in the renderer. You know, I usually keep them the same so I don't get confused. But basically it's how many dots are flying out of this thing upon uh, start emission, all right? Visibility, if they're visible or not, you know, so you can make them more transparent. Um, start emission and stop emission, okay? So at zero frames, it's gonna start. And if we make our project longer, let's make it uh, 900, we'll make it humongous, okay? Uh, let's only view a little bit of it. After 150, those little things would stop, but they keep flowing out, all right? So imagine like a bubble gun, right? Like you would, you would press the trigger and all the bubbles would come out. And then as you release the trigger, it would stop, but the bubbles are still floating in space, right? So that's, that's part of that action. Um, let's see, relative speed, you have a lifetime. So lifetime has to do with how long they stay active. Uh, so you could have them pop essentially, right? So after 600 frames, those things would disappear. And then you have speed, rotation, you have scale, you have a bunch of different things that can affect it as well. That's all the particle. And then the emitter has to be with what kind of shape and, and things like that. All right, so how this works, let's make our sphere a little bit smaller. Okay. And then we'll put the sphere inside of the emitter. And that, so it's a child of the emitter. And then if you want to click this little button down here called show objects, then you won't see your sphere anymore, but you will see it populate out of your emitter. Okay. So now it's going to be going, going, going. After that time, it's going to continue to go. Right. So, you know, to, to play with this further, you can have rotation. So if I make this increase the rotation, it's going to be a little bit hard to see with a sphere, but they're going to be rotating around a little bit. Let's change the sphere out with an object that we can see better. Cube. Put the cube in here. There we go. Okay, see now how the, the cubes are spinning around? That's based on this um, rotation. And you can have different variations of that. Speed. If we made this, you know, like 60, all right, it is 60, let's make it like 10. Then it's gonna come out very slow, but there's a lot, but the birth rate is at 10, right? So you're getting a lot of these sort of clustering forward. Um, if we made it higher, the speed is, let's make it 200. They're gonna come flying out of there pretty fast. There we go. Okay, so you can have that control. And of course, all this stuff you can animate as well. Um, and then end scale is one right now. So these are gonna shoot out and they're gonna stay the same scale. If we made the end scale, let's say five, then they'll grow five times uh, the size as they continue out. So see, okay. Notice the first ones are this scale and the last ones are bigger. They're gonna just keep getting bigger and bigger as they go outward. Okay, so that's, that's a possibility. Um, and then you have the emitter type, pyramid and cone. It's not gonna change so much, but you have the angle, let's see, vertical angle. Let's do the vertical angle up. Let's just do 90, I don't know, let's see. Vertical angle, see how they're spilling out further? So it's like, 
they're kind of in within a pyramid shape right now, like they're gonna be going out along that space, right? So if I, so that's kind of keeping them in a line almost. If I make the horizontal angle 90, then you'll see them all disperse out more in that direction, right? So you've got all of those different variables happening. And then finally, Let's talk a little bit about Catherine's um, project where she wanted to have something happen first and then, um, and then after that, you know, the bubbles are going to come out, right? Like the action of the movement and then the bubbles come out afterwards. So what you could control for that would be figuring out what your first animation is going to be. And maybe that action needs to happen at, let's say, frame 100. Right, so over here under start emission, you would put 100 for the start frame. And then you might put like, I don't know, uh, I don't know, 150 at the end. That's already what it was, okay. So then the action happens, right? The duck is squeezing and then blowing out bubbles. And then they float off into space, okay? So that could be a cool way to control that emitter and have some of those different things happen accordingly. Um, so emitter is pretty fun to play with. Uh, the last thing I'll talk about with emitter is that if you make, the, this is kind of fun too, if you add a simulation tag to the emitter like a rigid body, right? When those things come out, they'll fall down. Okay, so let's let's crank up the speed of this as well. Let's do the speed at like uh, 100, so it'll shoot out a little bit farther. All right, there they go. Okay, so then if you had uh, a plane down here, catch those things. Let's figure out where they're going to be caught. That looks pretty good. And we made the plane have a collider body on it. Let's see what happens now. I'm gonna wait for an action. They're gonna come out and they're gonna bounce and land on that, on that object, all right? Uh, if we make the rigid body have more bounce, let's say 25, then maybe they'll bounce right off. Let's see what happens here. There you go, they're bouncing and falling off as well. Okay, so, so this kind of gives you an idea about how to use emitter. There's, there's different ways that you can, you can activate it. It is really fun to play with. Uh, you, can, you can do all kinds of really interesting things. And there is, um, so again, under simulate, you have particles. You also have this thing called thinking particles, which can do all kinds of other stuff, which is really interesting. I would start out with just the basic particles to understand how it works. Um, and this is a kind of a fun way to play with that uh, basic sort of form.